I'm Adam Niffin. And I'm Jeremy Cocaine. This is Smith Welding Restoration. Nothing to add to this? <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's where we work. It's what we do. We make things great. This, what they call a truss jib. Yep. All right, uh, whew. truss jib, metal fabrication. Um, I'll dig up all the footage I've got. It's, it's a project that's gone on for about a month and a half. Not like it took me a month and a half, it only took me part of a day to build and paint. Um, I did this particular project. I didn't have my bandsaw down here, my horizontal bandsaw down here I need so badly. And we used some heavy gauge plate steel, half inch plate steel on, a, on parts of my plasma cutter. It'll sever but it won't cut cleanly. So I wound up using uh, cut off wheels and such for a lot of this which is inappropriate for any production level. Let's take a look. That's the truss for the jib itself that when you hang the weight out there, this is for lifting trusses up off of houses. Let me get a let me get a full shot here. There you go. It goes on uh, all terrain forklift. Alright. Uh, that goes into the all terrain, the rough terrain forklift. That's a peanut. They just got in trouble because they started yelling and being loud while I'm trying to film. Uh, I'm not in trouble, just I told them to quiet up. I've welded up everything on this. I put big half inch plate steel gussets. Um, bandsaw makes short work of this shit. I didn't have it. Bandsaw makes short work of this shit. Didn't have it. So I spent a lot of more, a lot more time than I needed to. I got some reasonable welds. That's actually a pretty good one. Um, that's some cold lap there. There's actually, see that corner? The welds down inside of there. Uh, that strap, again, when you put the weight on it out there, because you'll hang a chain off the end, and you'll pick up girders and trusses with it. When it tries to bend the bottom pole, it snaps tension to that top strap and pushes down there where it's going to flex. Um, in all honesty, looking at this through an engineer's perspective, I should have moved that, the midpoint from where it ties into the frame and the end. So that's actually back probably a foot from where I think I would prefer if I had a little more forethought involved. I split the beam itself, not the unsupported structure. Uh, it's a little bit of engineering involved. I know how they go together because I've, I've used them in the past in a prior career. But you, know, you got welds down in there. Um, I got some ugly, ugly gorilla welds. Um, ugly gorilla welds, okay, fine. So long as you get penetration and there's no bad inclusions. Um, I was almost done with it. I actually burned up the rest of the spool that was in the welder on this project. But I got to thinking about it because once I got the new spool of wire in there, and I buy them 10 pound spools, 9 pound spools, 11, whatever they are. The, the volleyball size spools of wire is what I buy. Um, oh, okay, that's better. Sorry about that. I know you like that big fat Irish nose. Um, anyhow, a spool. The, the spool that had been in the Lincoln, we haven't used the Lincoln since we've moved here because I just recently got electrical enough ran that I can use it around the shop. All that being said, uh, that spool's been in that welder for about eight months. Kids are bored, they wanna go home. It's Christmas week, I have them all week. We're working some short days anyhow. We got stuff to do. Family first, folks. Family first. Uh, hobbyists out there, buy them by the two pound, two pound spool. Buy a couple, three at a time if you want, but keep them wrapped up. Uh, if you don't use it for, say, six months, take that spool of wire out and just fucking chuck it. Uh, it. It 
presents inclusions. Uh, it doesn't feed the liner like it's supposed to. Um, you think you're running too hot and you're not. You think you're running too cold and you're not. It, it creates all kinds of havoc in a MIG welder. Gas or flux, doesn't matter. Flux wire is even more sensitive to exposure to the elements than solid wire. Anyhow, long story longer, I got to the bottom of that roll, I was doing pretty good. It was still snagging in the liner. Then I put the new roll on, the new spool on, and it welded like I wanted, to, wanted it to. I've got textbook welds now. Uh, not only are they pretty, but they penetrate. Um, prior, I was choosing, do you have a pretty weld or do you have a, a, a functional weld? There's a difference. Remember that, there's a big fucking difference. Pretty welds are great, yeah, they look good, but if they're not functional, if they don't penetrate, you're, 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 you're putting your life someone else's on the line. That is, that's a simple fabrication piece, that's all it is. We're gonna build more for the same guy. Uh, basically, we're gonna work together. He's gonna go out and get them sold, and I'm gonna build the motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. All things fair and love and war. This one, thing, this one came out pretty well. Um, next time I'll be armed with a new abrasive blade for my cutoff saw. I will have my band saw here. <laughs> and I think I'm going to talk them into 5 16ths for the gussets. It really doesn't need to be heavier than that. Which creates a lot less havoc cutting. I'm going to go play with my kids now. Alright folks. 10 seconds here. My kids were with me all Christmas week. That was my treat to me. Uh, it, was, it was awesome. I guess the ex had places to go and people to see. Um, anyhow, they were down here two half days with me at work. This is actually what they came up with. This is a cart, uh, uh, well, that was the board we used to, we did a lot of painting on this. It went on top of our blue point carts. Anyhow, I put wheels on it because we need a cart for the shop. They got bored. My son got bored. This is creativity of a nine and a six year old. A roll of white tape, just basic masking tape, and a box that he can chop up. He even has an operable door. So they spent turns pushing each other around the shop on that cart in that box. Ah. Uh. That's what makes me get up every day more than anything else. Wow, made it in a video. Thanks for checking in. Come back to the next one. See what the hell we're doing next time. Subscribe, comment. Find us on the old, over on the old Facebook, uh, Smith Welling Restoration LLC on Facebook. Uh, numbers in the beginning. If you have any questions, call.